If you're looking to purchase codes for the new release of Cosmic Eclipse, be sure to check out ptcgostore.com for codes at a really good price. And even better now, they have a sale of up to 50% off your online orders. This goes from Thursday, the 28th of November up to the 2nd of December. And what's even cooler is you can still apply the FTW code on top for an extra 5% more off. So be sure to check them out. The codes are much cheaper than what I've shown before. Uh, yeah, definitely check them out. What is the peeps? It's for the win TCG, and I'm talking you back to another YouTube video. And uh, today we're going to be doing another fresh deck list. It is a card I've been looking at for quite a while. I've been quite a fine tuning it, trying to make sure, and it's just the goodness, the right goodness. Uh, but of course, before we do get into it, um, I know of course some of you guys have been concerned about me making these meme videos. Um, but don't worry, I'm not stopping what I'm doing here with those types of videos. I'm just going to make those videos because I really enjoy making them. Some of you guys really like them as well. So I'm going to keep making that type of content, but it will still majoritively be uh, the deck lists um, for a couple of reasons. Of course, that's what a lot of you guys are here for, so I'm not going to forget that, don't get me wrong. And uh, these are a lot easier to make as well. Funnily enough, you'd think that these may be harder to make, but the meme videos take a lot more time to do. So they're obviously going to be less frequent, although I am still going to do them. Um, I haven't got a set schedule. I have an idea in my head, but I'm not going to say anything because if you look at the past, I'm not really the one to rely on when it comes to schedules, right? <laughs> anyway, with that said, I just wanted to brush that aside quickly. Um, but today we're going to be looking at the old Dust Noir. This is a card that's been looked at by quite a few people already. But I really wanted to make sure that I've got a list that I'm extremely satisfied with. And uh, I think does the job very well. And this is something that I'm just so excited to play. Dust Noir is a personal favorite Pokemon of mine. One of my favorite best... Uh, one of my favorite ghost type Pokemon, speak English, um, and I think this is just a straight cool card, and it um, it just, it, it's cool, it works really, really well for what it is, and it has some uh, cool um, effects just kind of backing it up um, as an archetype, so um, to kind of go into the first effect, let's say the uh, the Dusk, what's, what's the name, no, it's not Dusk, Dusk was the thingy, it's um, Dusk Goal, isn't it, no, is it, see, I don't even, I think it's Dusk Goal, right, it goes Dusk, yeah, Dusk Goal, Dusk Top, See, I haven't, okay, I, don't, I haven't played this for a while. <laughs> Funnily enough, Dust Noir is one of my favorite Pokemon, and I don't even know its pre-evolutions. Um, I think it's, no, Dust Clops, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Took me a second, took me a second. Um, but I think uh, Dust Skull, yes. So yeah, I'll stop with Dusk. It confuses the hell out of me. Dust Skull, I think, is, uh, is pretty cool for this deck. It has an ability where you can discard three cards from your hand and just evolve straight into Dust Clops from your deck. That's crazy. Um... So you can do that. Uh, it's a pretty good turn one move, to be honest with you, especially if you're trying to get a turn one Lily. It's cool. And it's an ability, so you could just sit on your bench and do it. You don't have to be active or anything like that for that to happen. And then Dusclops as well has a cool disable attack, which works pretty decently in the current format where you have big tag teams looking to do mainly one attack. You have, well, other than Mew Mew. Mew Mew would be the one that would bypass that, obviously. Uh, but you are hitting it for weakness unless it has the Jirage. There, you know, there's lots of things in, when it comes to the Mew theme matchup. But if you're looking at these big tag team GX's decks out there, they're looking mainly to do one attack. Um, and if you can disable that attack for a couple turns, um, just so you can help set up a bit better, then, you know, it's a really, really beneficial um, move to have. So, you know, overall, it's pretty decent. And, of course, there is the ability that we're looking to really take advantage of and really makes this deck something special is uh, Dusk Noir's... Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's basically Spell Tag. Um, and, well, you can combine it with Spell Tag. <laughs> and that, funnily enough, allows you to do 80 damage. Which I think is crazy. 80 damage to... Oh, aha, see, they're trying to get rid of spell tag there already. We've got the marshal there. We're prepped for that, mate. We are prepped. All right, we're actually going to use this ability here quickly. We're going to discard a lot of supporters, but you know what? Let's do it. Risk it for a biscuit. You know what I say, mate? You know what I say? Um, yeah, so we can stack them on top and do 80 damage once we KO'd. So obviously this is a, a bad thing for this deck. So that's obviously why they're playing this labs. Um... Do I go for the Marshadow right away? I'm not sure just yet. Probably. Yeah, let's... Let's Marshadow now. And of course, we play Shrine and stuff. It's not relevant in this matchup. But, you know, it does counter the, the Lysander Labs are going to have in play. Which I'm assuming they're playing at least two or three of um, in this matchup. Unless they're going for something else. But... It got me coffee in my Arsenal mug. I know some of you guys have been pointing that one out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. What was I saying? 
Right, so yeah, dealing with their Lysander Labs is, is kind of the big part of this deck. But, you know, we still spread a lot of damage with the Dusk, the Dust Noir anyway. But being able to spread 80 damage after being KO'd is kind of a big deal. Um, one, let me just point something out quickly. Dust Noir is 160 HP, so it's actually quite unlikely to be one-shot by a lot of Tag Team GXs. Unless they really put some effort to do it. So Reshirad will do it, obviously. But um, Picron won't do it unless there's an Electro Power. Um, and if you consider the fact that a lot of base numbers for a lot of tag team GXs are 150, that's the base number. Having 160 is pretty good. You know, it can it can get you out of some sticky situations sometimes. Um, so that's also pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, there's, there's there's a lot of bonuses to this deck. It's a single energy attacker. It has the same attack as Metagross. Um, if you don't know what that attack is, it's 60, and then it adds another on 60 on top, doing 120. If it stays in the active and it continues to attack. Um, that will be deactivated by a switch move or a gusting move um, on our opponent's side or on our side. And that forces us to take uh, Dusk Oil out of the... Sorry, Dust Noir. There we go. See, I'm getting confused. At the active. Ah, do you know what? Roxy's kind of a smart card to play in it. I did not think about that. I will give you that, mate. I'll give you that one. Also, you can really mess around and, and throw just four Weezings in there. Pokecom. Emolga, Pokecon, Weezings, bang, you got you got you got a bit of spread damage in your deck as well. Um now I know of course this Raichu deck is definitely something people are talking about. Bell Curved, of course, was the one who uh kind of popularized the original one that of course allowed you to do a ton of damage on any Pokemon for one energy. No, is it one energy? No, no, sorry, not one energy. You get energy into play and you move it all to that, yeah. Sorry, that's the one with the Electrode. Um, so this is the updated version with the powerful Spark Attack. I mean, it's cool. It's pretty cool, but it is very reminiscent of um, Raichu GX. You know, it's pretty much the same thing. Obviously, the engine that it's running now is very good with the fact that we now have a Nuzzle Pikachu and a Nuzzle Raichu. The search is incredible, so the setup is great. Um, I, I'm just going to get that out of the blue, definitely. It's definitely better than the engine we had around the time. <laughs> that um right, that's pointless that um raichu gx had so there's a lot more support for it don't get me wrong um which makes it a good deck but you know okay kind of struggling a little bit here i'm not gonna lie we can just go for greed moves here and go for another evolution but i don't see that as necessary yet not at least until next turn. I want to I want to attach the energy. I don't want to get rid of the ditto. Actually, I'm going to bench this ditto for now. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, we are actually playing three Dusclops just to really take advantage of this ability. I'm contemplating between three or two, though. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, with that said, I hope everyone is having a, uh, a good time. Christmas is round the corner, man. That is coming quick absolutely quick i feel kind of guilty because i haven't done any christmas shopping yet um i'm gonna start christmas shopping at the beginning of the month so next week i have to do a lot of christmas shopping um i'm gonna make sure i give my son a good christmas um but yeah uh, you know are any of you actually getting any sort of like tcg products or anything like that for anyone on christmas that'd be kind of cool actually if you've got a friend that likes tcg stuff that'd be kind of dope actually that was <laughs> a funny story right that was kind of um what was going on with me um I think, was it a couple years back? I don't know if it's 2017. I don't know if it's that Christmas. But um, basically, my mum was like, Do you know what, here, take... Um, she hasn't actually done this since, which is kind of strange. Now she, does, she just gets us presents. Um, but for the one year, I think she wanted to be a bit testing something out. So she was like, okay, I'll give you a budget and you can just buy what you want, pretty much. Which takes away a lot of the spirit of Christmas, actually, which is why I think she, doesn't, she hasn't done it again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I was like, Do you know what, I'm going to get a lot of TCG stuff. I got elite trainer boxes and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, it's crazy. Well, actually, no, she didn't. Let me let me rephrase that because I'm, I'm making it look like she just didn't care. She gave us a budget for our main present. The way it works for us is we have a main present and then we have other, other gifts that we get from them that are more personal stuff. Um, so the main present, of course, which is the present everyone wants or something like that, um, is something we were allowed to choose actually at that point. I, again, that hasn't happened since, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, there were other gifts that were actually given to us as gifts. It wasn't like we were sitting there opening presents of things we knew we were getting. <laughs> Not the whole thing, no. Just the, just the main one we had control in. Um, anyway, I digress. I digress, as I always do. I got myself TG TCG stuff and uh, pulled a Tapu Lele GX. I was absolutely 
I was going mad. <laughs> I was going mad. I pulled a Tarku Lele GX and I still have it, I believe, in my cupboard, um, the Tarku Lele. So yeah, kind of cool. I actually used it when I was playing um, real life TCG. I used it in a, I actually had a Lucario Zorak deck because I got some Zorak TCG products and stuff and um, I got some Lucario products and stuff as well. Um, so yeah, I actually had a whale of a time making a pretty cool Zorak Lucario deck uh, that I played in real life. But yeah, that's, that's, that's fun. And that's all because of that Christmas, um, which is actually a really cool Christmas. A really, really cool Christmas. Um, okay, let's just think a second. Stellar Wish, what do we pull off that? If we get, we can get Mysterious Treasure. That can actually, I'm not gonna lie, that can help us just get some Dust Clops out, which is cool. I don't wanna use the ability now. I, I, these, these resources are pretty good. So I'd rather just manually do it. In fact, I'm going to get it on this Ditto. So we can still rare candy to these Dust Because bear in mind, we still have rare candies in the deck. We play three, not four. Um, mainly because we have this ability to use as well. So there's a lot of evolution options. This makes this deck wildly consistent, which I love. I love how consistent it is. Now, there is a chance they can just go ahead and, you know, throw out a Lysander Labs. But, you know... Should we be greedy here and like try and utilize this the switch Jirachi? Let's do it. I mean, that's the point, right? We want to Really get as much out of our deck as possible That great catcher. No, we get the rare candy just in case we top deck something cool Let's do that And this is why I'm playing Jirachi. Um, I know Jirachi is somewhat counterintuitive to the deck By nature you have to switch play Jirachi to be able to get the most out of it, which takes out the oh, it's called psych up which deactivates the Psychop attack. Um, but when it comes to draw support, in this deck, although I'm playing my standard eight draw supporters, which is four Lilies and four Cynthias, in some decks you get a lot that bricks a lot. Um, and I don't know why, but in this deck, I've not had it happen once. Um, I usually have a draw support to work with almost every single turn. I usually have some sort of routes to get cards every single turn with this deck. Um, it's just how it was. I actually had more draw before. I had a Cynthia and Caitlyn in here as well. I had two of those. Just to really help with the consistency. But I just didn't need it. I really didn't need it. I was constantly drawing cards. Um, to the extent where I was discarding my Cynthia's and Caitlyn's. Just for the like, abilities or anything like that. You know, I just didn't use the cards properly. And so I was like, okay. Maybe I can cut them out and throw some other stuff in. And yeah, it's, it's worked out. Okay, so there's the big boy damage that they've done. And we're going to respond with some even more big boy damage. Okay, let's take out this one. We can do 60 here. So four there. This is where it comes alive. Um, two here. And then we're going to do two on the Emolga. There, because they can't do anything about the Emolgas. They can't evolve here or anything like that. So we are returning a KO, which is sweet. Absolutely sweet. And the great thing is, <laughs> they have to promote something which is now going to take damage. So they're probably going to promote this Raichu or something like that. That's going to take 60. If we get another spell tag on a Dusk Goal, a Dusk Noir, sorry. Um, then, yeah, again, we're getting another return KO when they KO. Oh, wow, they're actually going for that. Mate, you are ballsy. That's what I'm going to say. I'm actually going to get rid of the rare candy. I would rather get the one with the energy on rather than trying a search for an energy. So... Let's just evolve it like this. Yes, it's kind of counterintuitive, but I want to keep the draw supporters there as much as possible. We can still find rare candies and stuff. Um, and we still have mysterious treasures and all that if we need. Right, so let's go for the... We actually did find the energy. Uh, did we go for the rare candy? What's our deck saying when it comes to dusk? I think we have one more dusk clops, don't we? So let's... Now's a good time to use an ability... We're going to go for this, this, and get rid of the great, because they're kind of useless cards. And then we can evolve. And then next turn, we can Mysterious Treasure and get ourselves our next Dust Noir. So you see what I'm saying, right? It, it, it's just, it's consistent. It is just consistent. Unfortunately, we haven't got the spell tag to work with, which would have been such a good bonus. But, you know, we get another prize card. That's cool. They're obviously going to be, I'm assuming, taking us out. Let's see how much they've got. Two, four, six, eight. No, they're not in takeout territory, unfortunately. They need to get more energy in play. For it to really work out. Probably expecting a Tapu Koko Prism this turn. I mean, that makes sense. That puts them to 140 plus energy 160. They're taking us out. So a Koko Prism would, would do it. So let's see. Let's see if 
if my prediction is correct. There we go. So Coco Prism is going to come out. They're going to go up to 140 and then 160. We're going to respond with another spell tag. Spell tag. <laughs> um, grim Marking, that's what it is. And just uh, put some more damage down on the Emolga again. Oh, okay. I did not see you coming into the fray, my friend. Did not see you. That's kind of interesting. Kind of regret getting rid of the Great Catcher now. Although, bear in mind, we are like free shotting this thing. If they're not KOing us, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, all they have to do really is just get a, a rainbow or a fire down. There's the fire, so they can actually just uh, take us out here straight away, which is kind of mad. This is a complete turn of events to the tech. I did not see this happening. I'll be honest with you. Mm -mm. Okay, there's that Rosa. Trainer card, energy, and reveal them. Do you know what? I think Rosa would be pretty good in this deck, you know. Be like a direct setup for Dust Noir, right? You can get a Dust Noir out straight away. You get the energy, you get the you get the rare candy, and you get the the Dust Noir itself, and then you, you're good to go. That's kind of true. There's that recess stamp. Not really holding us back so much. Uh, I do play a copy of Mimikyu as well. I think it's pretty cool just to work with, working with Shrine and the whole spread damage deal that this deck has to offer. Being able to limit abilities is pretty cool. So shutting off um, things like Silver Valley GX is just really good. So, you know, I like that. Okay, so they're not going to take the KO because they attach the fire for the turn. Which, uh, you know, that's, it's questionable. We're going to rare candy. We're going to take this opportunity here to do that. Now, just in case they have like a Dedene or something. I, d I don't know. I can't predict this right now. I'm going to drop this Mimikyu. And we're also going to recover another Dust Noir here. With this and a spell tag. Yep, Fishing Rod is a pretty good card in this deck as well. And uh, maybe I should have Poke Kid first. That was probably a misplay. Yeah, that was a big misplay. Yikes! All right. You know, is what it is. We do take it out. Thanks to the increased damage output. Sweet! Okay. So, Poke Kid, thank God. <laughs> um, now, what do we chip into here with their return KO? Because we want to make sure we're getting KOs as much as they are. We can go for the Emolga. Put four straight on that. We can go for the Raichu. That doesn't set up a one-hit KO, though, for uh, uh, another Dustwire to come in. I mean, this Disable could really work in our favor <laughs> um, if they didn't have this charged up. Because we can just disable the, the powerful Spark Attack and they just can't use it. They have to retreat to get it out of the way. Uh, to use it, right? Which means I have to attach an energy and retreat just to get that outcome. Which is, yeah, problematic on their part. All right, let's get rid of the Amalgo. You've got a lot of energy on you. Let's put four on you there. We need to find these spell tags, man. Like, for real, dude. Really need to find these spell tags. That's just like putting 80 damage on the board in response to a KO in this kind of deck is, is, is really good. So if we can just find some spell tags, that'd be sick. Uh, see, I'm sitting here earlier saying, oh, yeah, we can draw all the time. Nah. <laughs> nah, mate. All right. Good news. We have a spell tag. So we can actually do some serious damage next turn, which is going to really, really help. So we're going to come with a Psychop here. We have 20 to do there and 60 to do here. If they KO us, we're taking out two Pokemon in response. Two prizes taken. I'm a happy bunny. Um, so, yeah, they've got to be really careful with, with taking out this Dust Noir because <laughs> they're in trouble. <laughs> They have to get rid of this spell tag somehow. Lysander Labs. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, they can. They can Lysander Labs. There's no, there's nothing stopping it. What are they going to do? Because I've got two prizes pretty much set up, ready to go. Now, of course, it's probably smart for them to try and take us out with the Reshiram. But just given by the energy attachment they've done to the... In Molga, of all things, they now have made themselves need a switch to be able to do that. They can't. They can't retreat right now. And if they ain't got the switch, oh, go away. If they ain't got the switch, they ain't. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, they went for the nozzle attack. Fair play to you, mate. Okay. Still, we get a nice KO here. We're still set up for taking out some pretty. Yeah, do you know what? If you take me out, I think you've lost, mate, by just doing that. I think they had to go for the nozzle play. I think we've won. 
if they don't lie down the labs, if they don't shut off our spell tag here, I think we've won? Oh, no, no, we're 10 damage short, aren't we? They haven't got a 60 HP Pokemon down. We have 80, 80 damage to play with. We put 20 here. And that leaves us with 60, which means we can't take out this. We can't take out this. If they bench another Emolga, which I don't think they have any left. Oh, no, they do. If they bench another Emolga, it's game over. What are they going to promote? They can promote this. They can. But our spell tag ability is just giving us KOs like it's nobody's business. So you can see a lot of this deck is kind of like, it's kind of like a trade deal, you know. It's, um, you take me out, I take you out, but I'm going to start doing some serious damage in the process, you know. So, and also the great thing is, is if they take you out and you respond with a KO, they have to then promote a new Pokemon that is going to take more damage. So it's, it's, it's a real good bonus. Right, I think, I think that's a pretty good representation of what this deck is all about. I think it's able to see it there in its true colors. It's consistent. It's very consistent for a stage two. It is not hard to get these bad boys out. It's not hard at all uh, with the combination of rare candies and of course, Duskov's ability. You, you know, you're odds of getting this card out into play. It's really good. One thing you notice is I'm not even playing any Pokecoms. I don't even think they're necessary in this deck. The Elms are great for getting things out early game, which I hit pretty much every time I've uh, I started the game with this deck. And uh, Mysterious Treasure, of course, is just for the continuous part of the game. You really don't need Pokey, um, Pokey Gear. I do think it's a bit overkill, to be honest with you. Um, but you can try it out if, for yourself if you want. But yeah, I really like this engine. I think it's super dope. Um, Jirachi, questionable, but you can see during that game, it helped out a lot with getting cards that I might need um, after we get KO'd. Because again, bear in mind, getting KO'd is not really a bad thing in this deck. So if they take you out... Um, of course, you can come up with the Jirachi, respond, get some cards and stuff, and then you mess around, then you come up with another one, and then, you know, the loop goes from there. So it's a kind of a trade game, and even if they don't trade, you're hitting 120 every turn after the first attack, obviously, which is still pretty decent numbers. Combining it with Shrine, you're doing some good damage base, plus the spread damage that you have available to you, plus the evolution, plus the disable. It's a very, very solid deck, and if you're struggling to get some cards and stuff, I would definitely recommend it. Um, but with that said, of course, do leave a like if you did enjoy. And please do subscribe for more stuff. Um, but more importantly, of course, do take care of yourself. I'll leave you to it. And peace.